Have I heard right that MPs have just passed a bill imposing the death penalty or homosexuality? Well, the Anderson won't come out just yet. Well, human rights campaigners, they condemn this bill, introducing capital and life imprisonment and sentences if you're homosexual, if you're gay. Well, it's true. I know what you're going to say. No, not in the United Kingdom. And I would say that you're right. No, we're talking about Uganda. Yeah. MPs in Uganda have passed a controversial anti-LGBTQ plus bill, which would make homosexual acts punishable by death. I kid you not. Death. If you are gay, or just a little bit happy, well, don't move there. No. No. Well, it is attracting some rather strong condemnation from human rights campaigners, obviously. It's, you want to trade with the world, well, they ain't going to help you, I tell you. It really isn't. Just like Brexit isn't helping the United Kingdom. No. So luckily this bill hasn't been passed in the United Kingdom. Let me just make that clear. It's in Uganda. So... All but two of the 389 legislators voted late on Tuesday for this hardline anti-homosexuality bill, which introduces um, capital and uh, life imprisonment sentences for gay sex and uh, recruitment, promotion and funding of same-sex activities. They're going backwards. Well, a person who commits the offence of aggravated homosexuality is liable on conviction to suffer death. Well, the bill was presented by Rabina uh, Roako Kuju. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right. Obviously, I did not. I was the chairperson for legal and parliamentary affairs. The country's gone flipping mad. But we're all heading this way, you know. Look who we've got in Parliament at the moment. Like I say, got Lee Anderson. He's a white supremacist. Well, just two of the MPs from the ruling party, Fox Odoi Alawalowo and Paul uh, Quizera um, and Busiana. I do apologise, but I can't say these names. <laughs> well, they opposed the uh, new legislation. Well, the bill is rather ill-conceived, they said. It contains provisions that are unconstitutional and reverse the gains registered in the uh, um, the fight against gender-based um, violence and criminalises individuals instead of, con of, instead of conduct that um, contravenes uh, all known legal norms. Well, that bill doesn't introduce any value whatsoever. No. To any country. Certainly not to Uganda. You tell me what you think. Would you move to Uganda? Even if you're not, you know, LGBTQ, TQ, people, blah, 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 plus. Getting tongue tied in. Blimey. The world's gone absolutely mad. Including the United Kingdom. Well, you tell me what you think. Please leave it in the comments down below. Oh dear. Whatever next. And in the United Kingdom, we've got parties popping up all over the place. Such as one that was founded last year. Did a video on it, yeah, last year. The National Housing Party UK. It's just a right wing fascist, bigoted, white supremacist party. Contradicting themselves while trying to, well, accost a GB News reporter. Same reporter that was, uh, well, she suffers from, don't get me wrong, I'm not into GB News, obviously, but this particular reporter, she suffered, uh, well, a stalker, a stalker, happened to be a guest on the show, <laughs> was it Nigel Farage, before he was, <laughs> before he had his own show, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> 
No, because I think they got locked up. But anyway, you tell me. Please leave it in the comments down below. And please, please, please click like and subscribe. And maybe a little bell icon, because then you get a little warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. And it was brought to you on Patreon. I'll buy us a coffee in the links down below. And we're planting trees here in France. A thousand trees on two acres of land. If you want to be a part of that, there's a thing Fund Me link down below in the description. And for which you can, well, you basically buy a tree and we'll make, put, plant the tree on your behalf. But also, put a sign with that tree with your name on or, you know, be a memory of a loved one. Anyway, I think it's a good idea, and so does the missus. Well, actually, so do the people, I, I imagine, who actually have already donated and bought a tree, which have a sign with the tree. I'm waffling. <laughs> it's time for me to go, because I said, you know. So, that's all. Don't forget, comment down below.